Hello, my name is Dr. Lewis Kreitman, a urologist with Georgia Urology, the largest urology practice in the southeastern part of the United States. I'd like to talk to you today about benign prosthetic hyperplasia and medications we use to treat this. But first, some basic anatomy. The bladder is just a muscular bag, which as it fills, can contract and push urine through the urethra out the end of the penis. The prostate wraps around the base of the bladder and acts to squeeze on the urethra. As the prostate enlarges, it can squeeze more on the urethra, making it more difficult for the bladder to empty. There are four major classes of medications that we use to treat the lower urinary tract symptoms due to BPH. The first are called alpha blockers, and this includes Flomax, the generic name of which is Tamsulosin, Uroxitrol, the generic name is uh, Alfuzazin, or the older styles Hytrin or Cardura. And these medications work by relaxing the muscle fibers in the prostate itself to allow the prostate to open wider and uh, the bladder to empty more easily. The second class of medications is called 5-alpha reductase inhibitors. And this includes avidarter dutasteride and proscar finasteride. These medicines work by shrinking the prostate over time. And it will take approximately six to eight months to have its fullest effect in shrinking that prostate. Keep in mind that your physician may actually use both of these medications together to treat your lower urinary tract symptoms. The third class of medications are phosphodiesterase inhibitors. Uh, the class or the medication is called Cialis or Tadalafil. And this medication has been approved not only to help with erections, but also can be used to help with the lower urinary tract symptoms due to BPH. Again, this medicine may be combined with either the alpha blockers or with the uh, 5-ARI medications to help with your lower urinary tract symptoms. Lastly, we physicians will sometimes prescribe a class of medications called anticholinergics. These medicines work by relaxing the muscle fibers in the bladder itself to help reduce frequency, urgency, and nighttime frequency known as nocturia. Remember, any of these medications may have side effects, so it's important to discuss any side effects that you may have with your physician. If you're interested in learning more about different medications that can be used in treating BPH, please give one of our over 50 urologists a call and make an appointment. Thank you very much. Have a nice day.